Well, we've made it through another week of ELA. It's Friday again. So today you've got your um, reading test on vocabulary and comprehension for blind ambition. And you'll have your spelling test today on all those homophones we've been working with. Before you get to that, let's just do like five minutes of two little mini lessons here, okay? And then I'll let you get to work. And the first one here is just about suffixes. And suffixes are things that you add at the end of a word, there are word parts that go on the end of the word that change the meaning of the word. So a suffix is a word part added to the end of a base word that changes the meaning of the word. Some suffixes change the words part of speech. For instance, when you add the suffix ness to the adjective blind, you get blindness, which is a noun. I'm blind without my glasses. Today, we have the technology to cure some forms of blindness. Okay. So, ness can be added to several words like the base word good to make it goodness, self, <laughs> selfish, selfishness. We've got a lot of suffixes added to self there, don't we? Two suffixes selfishness, brotherliness. Brotherliness, so ness words. When you see ness at the end of a word, you know it's a suffix added to it. And mint, argue, mint, judge, mint, state, mint. So suffixes that you can add on to the end of words to change their meaning. And sometimes they're part of speech. And then let's look at text structure. I want us to think about this for just a minute as it relates to our story this week, Blind Ambition. I know we've looked at this before. And I want to decide, I want you to pick which two of these you think Blind Ambition most likely, most likely contain in, the, in their text structure. In its text structure, compare and contrast how things are alike and they're different. Cause and effect. Because this happens, here's the effect. Sequence, first this happens, then this happens, then this happens. Or problem and solution, here's the problem, and here's how it got solved. Which of these would you say most likely resembles our text we read, Blind Ambition? As I looked over this and I was thinking about that, my mind first went to problem and solution. Because the problem is that Matthew is blind in the story. What's the solution? His dog, right? His seeing eye dog helps him get around and comforts him when he's sad. So the problem is he's blind. The solution is he gets a seeing eye dog. But then I also thought it was also like a little bit of cause and effect. It explains what happened and why it happened. Because... Matthew is blind. The effect is, there's lots of effects in the story, right? He has a seeing eye dog to help him get around. He has to have a lot of books for math that are written in Braille. He has his dad or someone position his golf club behind the ball so he can hit it and play golf. So there's lots of cause and effects in the story, too. The story wasn't so much sequence, I didn't think. First this happened, this happened, then this happened. It was not really a sequence story. It just told about different events in his life because it was a personal narrative. So I don't think sequence best fits the, the um, story we read, Blind Ambition. Compare and contrast. I guess Matthew did a little bit of that in his personal narrative. You know, he talked about how, how we're all alike. We all like to play games. He likes to play golf. We all want friends. He has friends. We all want to fit in. His dog helped him fit in. But he also talked about how some, some things are different about his life because he's blind when you compare him to a person who's not blind. So I think for our text, Blind Ambition, these three would be the best to describe how it's written. Problem and solution, cause and effect, and compare and contrast. I hope you enjoyed the story this week. You're going to go take your test on it now. 
and take your spelling test. And that's all you have to do for ELA today. Have a wonderful Friday.